Hello there, my name is Alex Morose and I'm the author of the Stalker Call of Prepaid Extra SDK Foundation video tutorials. This is going to be one of the tutorials that will be included in the Stalker SDK Extra Foundation video tutorials. During this video tutorial I will teach you how to control the time tick in a game. So basically how to change the night, day, how to speed up uh, the uh, time in the game and um, how to slow it down. So all what you need to do to play with the time in the Stalker Call of Prepaid game you need to uh, modify the alive.ltx file. What is the LTX file? LTX file is pretty much like INI file so pretty much it has some properties and values. So properties is like command for the X-ray engine and values it's you know values for that command so x-ray engine just looking for the command and then looking for the values and then it's react depends on that value let's say render or not render or do some changes in the game so I'm assuming that you go ahead and download the X-ray Call of Prepaid SDK 0.7. If not, go ahead and do so. You can also go with different methods. You can extract the data uh, from your original Stalker Call of Prepaid installation folder. How to do so? Uh, from the archives, there is this kind of data. And how to do so? Uh, it's going to be a video tutorial in my X-ray SDK Foundation video tutorials. It will be called Extract uh, Game Data. You can can watch that as well but I'm not going to go ahead and uh, talk about this in this video so go ahead and open your X-ray Call of Prepaid SDK installation folder you will see some uh, bunch of folders and files go ahead and click on editors and then you will see some bunch of folders and files go ahead and click on game data and then bunch of folders is again go ahead and click on configs and in the configs you will find the alive.ltx so this alive.ltx file is responsible and x-ray engine is looking for that file if he can find this file in the folder game data where you have the stalker call of prepaid installed then it's going to grab it from the archive and use the default values okay so you got an idea even if you don't have the alive.ltx file in your stalker call of prepaid installation folder it will be there but it will be under the archives and the game engine will grab it from there okay so what you wanna do you wanna copy this file click copy on it and go to your stalker call of prepaid installation find that and if you don't have any modes if it's just a default game uh, you need to go ahead and right click somewhere and create the folder in the installation folder create the new folder and name it game data like so game data together one word Click on that folder, go inside and name another folder and name it configs. Configs with a, a plural S in the end. Inside of the configs folder, you want to go ahead and paste the alive.ltx file. If you do have the game data and configs folder, go ahead, go inside and then place the alive.ltx file. If you do have already alive.ltx file in your game data and in your configs file under the stalker call of prepaid installation, not the stalker call of prepaid SDK installation, then make a copy of that file and name it something like original in the end and copy the new file then we want to open this file in notepad ltx file can be opened in notepad as regular text file and you can modify its values you can use the notepad plus plus if you're familiar with that application it's absolutely free you can download it online just google for it or you can use the notepad which comes with every single windows if you will go ahead and click open with you can select the notepad if it doesn't show notepad then go ahead and click choose default program and find the notepad click ok if you don't have the notepad over there go ahead and click start on the windows symbol here and uh, go to accessories and click on notepad find this alive.ltx file in your stalker call of prepaid folder in the game data folder in the configs folder and open it okay so i'm going to go ahead note notepad i open that and there is a bunch of properties and values as you can see right so basically pretty much um, every single uh, property means something for the game engine and value it's you can set this value to anything that you want and you're not going to break the engine you just need to follow the instructions that i'm going to just provide you in a second so pretty much how to change and control the time tick in a game you're looking for this property time factor time factor is the property that responsible for time tick in a game 
default is set to 10 okay it can be minimum as 1 and maximum as 396 so you want to just be between those numbers okay so you can control how fast the night will come and the morning will come then it, the default settings and means that six seconds will be in real life will be one minute in the game if you will go ahead and change it to let's say 60 if you're good with math a 10 is equal one minute in a game then in which is six seconds in real life then 60 will be one second in real life equal one minute in a game all right so what is next we have also normal time factor equal 10 normal time factor is not a time doesn't control the time taken a game but control how fast the animals moves how much time it takes so it's a multiplier that controls that you can also play with that you can set it for 8 or 12 whatever just play with that and find how fast is good for you but 10 is default switch distance switch distance uh, it's a great thing because it's in meters every single volume in meters 150 meters 150 meters and 75 so basically when you looking at your sniper rifle at the scope you can see that zombie just goes 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 and then disappears so what engine does it just clean him up from the map from the location when he reached that 150 meters so he's not going to take the resources from the video card so the performance of the game will be much better than if it didn't do that so you can but let's say if you're watching and he reached the 150 and then trying to kill him with your sniper rifle and then he disappears from your scope then it's not cool right so if you like to long shots go ahead and change it to 170 is fine okay start time start time is uh, when the player will start new game what time it will be just when you start the new game of stalker call of prepaid then start date start date is the date when the player will start let's say your script your scenario says it's going to start 2025 uh, the game will start and um, some you know some script will in your game and it's going to be March 15 so 15 is going to be first date and then month because it's European uh, Eastern European standard 03 which is March okay and let's say I would like to start him at evening like 19 uh, which is military time because they're using the military time 19 zero 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 so it's 7 p.m. 19 is equal 7 p.m. if you will go ahead and save it uh, because over here you, you're going to use the military time when you're going to set the start time start time okay so let me go ahead and demonstrate you what we just have done go ahead and save this file make sure you edit the file in your stalker call of prepaid installation folder in the game data folder in the configs folder you have the li ltx okay go ahead and save it and the next thing what we want to do we want to run the game and see how what we have done go ahead and execute the game and keep in mind you need to start a new game the save file is not going to work i'm not sure why they did that and i think it's just keeping some information from the extracted um so you need to start a new game do not use the loads new game okay and um it's going to take just a few seconds it's going to load and you will see that we will be in the evening and our year will be 2025 march 15 and time will be 7 p.m which is 19 um, by military time okay as you can see from 17 22 I mean 1922 which is 722 time go very quick every second equal one minute as you can see and that's how we did but default is six seconds in real life one minute and then we have March 15 2025 so it's great for your mode if you want to start let's say your script starting in, in a stalker somewhere in the zone 2025 you can set it all right so you got an idea you can see the heavy grass i have this is an uh, another video tutorial where i will teach you how to patch the x-ray engine for the heavy grass and that grass will go can go even cover the whole level and you don't have to have that ridiculous preloading of the grass every 10 meters like it comes with the default and you cannot do it with the options of the game it needs to be done hard coded and i will teach you how to do so it's not so hard it's going to be just different video tutorial uh, it will be about the grass uh, grass rendering okay and um, also if you uh, let's go ahead and click it 
uh, credit I'm sorry and uh, yeah so you just learn how to how to change the time in your game in the stalker call of prepaid you can use the same method in stalker shadow Chernobyl and in stalker clear of sky it's going to work so it's just the, the same methods for the old x-ray engines okay thank you so much for watching my name is Alex Morose and you just watched a video tutorial from the uh, stalker call of prepaid x-ray SDK foundation video tutorials by Alex Morose and you just watch one of the video tutorials if you're watching this video over the YouTube please thumbs up so you I'm going to post some more and subscribe for more video tutorials please le let me know in the comments do you like my style or what what you don't like what you like and etc if you're looking for the uh, stalker x-ray SDK foundation video tutorials the whole set please go ahead and visit www.x-raysdk.com to get yourself a full 17 plus hours of video tutorials where you will learn how to basically and advance um, modify and create the modes for your stalker call of prepaid uh, game and even entire new game from the stalker call of prepaid with x-ray sdk thank you so much for watching my name is alex moros happy moding Bye.